Hey guys, today I want to do a story time, kind of like mm, shit that happened to me kind of story. And I thought this would be perfect for this channel because people want to, like a lot of people want me to do more things about Japan, my race, my culture, things like that. And those type of topics because yeah. And so obviously I'm going to talk about my experiences and things like that. And something happened this month and so I wanted to talk about it. Um, yeah, also, I got the COVID shot yesterday, not two days ago, two days ago now, and I feel like my voice is all messed up, I don't know, like, I, I was in bed all day yesterday, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, so sorry if my voice is off or something, like, anyway, just, just before anyone sits out, so, yes, hi, so, I feel, I post TikToks, I'm a TikToker, if you guys don't know, I'm a TikToker, I actually have more followers on TikTok than I do here, or no, like, yeah, but if you guys didn't know, yeah, I do, I have almost, 13,000 on my TikTok. Yeah, I saw this video on my timeline of this girl talking about how she grew up only eating Korean food and the girl happened to be half black and half Asian. And so because of that, I really connected with it and I wanted to do a video and talk about it because I thought that this was a very, very interesting topic to talk about. I actually never had seen this girl before. I didn't know who she was or anything, which maybe I should have done a little bit more research on my part, which I will, I will understand, but like, a lot of people will do TikToks without context. It's just kind of like a quick, like, let's talk about this, let's discuss type of thing. And so I didn't really think of it as, oh, I should do all this research and be simply correct because I was like, or politically correct because it was supposed to be like, oh, here's my feelings, here's how I've experienced and let's talk about that. It's kind of weird and I feel like people should probably stop doing this type of thing. And so- I grew up on like duckwook and mango. I don't think the guy who was doing the interview meant anything wrong by this and yeah there's definitely a miscommunication and I'm gonna talk about it. This also does happen a lot in Japanese media if you ever saw the comedy the comedian Anthony he's a half but he's never been to America. This girl is half she, I don't know if she's ever been to America I know she's a k-pop star who's half black and half Korean. The thing is I don't think people realize that Korean culture is for especially if you're born with it or like me, I was raised by my mom, and my mom is Japanese, so I am more culturally Japanese than I am black. I mean, I am black still, because I went to, like, school in Brooklyn, but I can culturally connect more to my heritage because I was raised by a Japanese woman. It is not, a, a like, a nature... I think people think it's, like, a natural thing to be like, oh, if you're black, you're black mentally. It's like, no, you have to be around other black people in order talk about her i use this girl as an example because the video was of this girl but i also use anthony anthony if you guys don't know is a japanese comedian who's born and raised in japan and a lot of the times if you watch maybe i'll put a clip in or two um the like because he's a comedian and he's on some comedy shows people treat him like the other even though he's only lived in japan and so i was using kind of that where it's like people will other you even though obviously you're very much in the culture and like looks don't equal culture it wasn't supposed to be a race thing at all it was more like oh your race and your culture yeah i was like you know like culture is like complicated you don't but it was more like okay let's stop let's stop doing these like assuming because of your race you can't be culturally connected to your people or your past or your family like it doesn't go like that like there are people who are culturally not not connected but like it's it's you know like fine anyway i feel like i'm rambling because i am i feel like this video is just getting me heated i don't know why um i'm not like too too angry i just don't know how to anyway so put that video up i got a few comments saying that she wasn't a k-pop star it was like kind of the big a lot of the the things some people were invalidating what i was saying was because this girl was not a K-pop star, I was wrong, and they're like, mm, you don't know shit about shit because she's not a K-pop star, she's a fine star, which I'm like, okay, I did a little bit of, like, I didn't do too much research, but I just, like, put her name in, and, like, was like, okay, yeah, like, she's Korean, cool, like, Korean, she put Korean in some of her titles, she apparently has a song with Jay Park, so I was like, oh, K-pop star. And also, I think that this is a weird thing. Like, I'm, this is completely different, but I'm gonna talk about it real quick in this. People have a fucking fixation on the word K-pop as if K-pop is not just Korean pop. Like, the only reason, like, the only, one of the only reasons why 
things like K-pop and C-pop and like we put like initials in front of it is because of the charts. Because you know, uh, a lot in a lot of the world, American songs do chart on other countries, and so because of that, they need a way to like recognize even their people. Like, it's not just like I just I don't. It's, it's still pop. <laughs> it's just yeah. Because technically, um, like, what you think is pop is American pop, because we're in an American chart. So, like, it's just ah, uh, it's the fact that people don't understand that like. If Korean people are your fan base, if Korean, if it plays in Korea, if you use Korean, it can be considered K-pop. But people are getting like really like it. They're like no, unless they come from like this, these companies and do these things, they're not K-pop. Which I'm like okay, fine. I mean, I know very like I know some things about K-pop. I'm not gonna say I'm like a huge because I used to be like kind of into it, but like it was like before like when Girl Generation was a thing, and so. I know a little bit, but I don't know too too much, so I'm not gonna be like mm, I'm, I'm the expert. I know a lot, to it. but that wasn't even the point. I feel like people took like this thing where I was trying to make like a thing where I'm like, oh my god, like this is the point. This is like something that a lot of people have to deal with. Doesn't this fucking suck? And they're like, no. And then I got a few because I didn't want to like I, in the beginning I was responding to people because I still did want to have discourse, and so I made a video where I answered a question. Basically, one of the questions were, because you say that you're more Japanese culturally, let me see if I can find <laughs> the TikTok, let's see. I'm gonna try to answer this, but because I only have a minute, I can't get too nuanced. So if you have any questions, let me know. I grew up in Brooklyn in a black neighborhood. And so my friends were black or Spanish. And so I grew up with that culture also, but because at home, my mom was Japanese and we spoke Japanese and all of that. I, and I never lived with my dad. I don't really know my dad. It never felt like, I felt like I know that I'm black, <laughs> that I'm also like partially black, but culturally it felt like, you know when like, this sounds dumb. I'm not trying to be well Vicky, but I felt like I was looking from the outside, not the inside in. So being like, of course I understand black culture being from Brooklyn, but it never felt necessarily like my culture because it wasn't that my parent taught me. It was more like I live in a place that's black. It sounds dumb, but I don't know if that makes sense. Like a lot of white kids say that they have this too when they grow up in the hood. It's a, and I'll put the video in too, but it's, I'll put the video in, you'll see the video, but I'm still gonna read it out just for myself. Um, so since you identify more with your Japanese side than your black side, do you just say you're biracial or say you're just black? So, and then I got a whole bunch of comments that were so fucking rude to me. Um, Cause they kind of assumed things because I said I was raised by my mom and blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, that means your mother's racist and she hates black people and that's why you guys like this. And I'm like, I've said in other videos, literally like the week before I've said in the video, that I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of being black. I love being black. I will always be black to some people, but when, if you guys watched the video where I talked about being discriminated in Japan, that really changed my mindset on things and made me realize that just because you think of yourself in a certain way doesn't mean the world thinks of you in a certain way. And so I kind of tried to change the way I think. And because of that, I understand that people outwardly will treat me like a black woman, but also in the same vein, if they don't think I am, if they don't feel like I am, they might not. And that's okay. Like I can't change how other people see me. I can only see myself a certain way and be okay with how other people see me. And so, yeah, like that was a big thing, but it's just like, oh, like it shouldn't, it never should have been this negative. But honestly, I think it just ended up in the wrong side of fucking TikTok. And I don't know, like I will continue to do videos on being very racial and my experiences and things like that. I honestly don't even think I've hit the like, I, I've hit it, like I have so much to say and I have new things to say every day, so I don't know if I'm really like gonna say like, mm, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, 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 you know, but yeah, like also, I like reacting to things, I like talking in discourse, especially because a lot of people who talk about these things aren't actually biracial, so I want to tell my experience as someone who is biracial to understand how it feels like to be a thing and also even people who aren't biracial they could be monoracial do experience these things it's called being a third culture kid like people grow up in other countries and feel this way or they grew up in the hood they feel this way like 
I feel like we need to learn to be more open and validate people. Um, I also, just to address another thing that people are constantly um, commenting about was the fact that I said Spanish instead of Hispanic, but like that's just because maybe it's dumb. I know, maybe I should educate myself better. It's just a bad habit because since I grew up in Brooklyn, a lot of people just kind of say Spanish because they kind of <laughs> put the Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, all that together. And it's a generalization, which is fine. Also, like, it's not a bit, like, I, I get it. I get, I get why some of them get upset. I'm just like, that really, like, and also they're like, oh, you should edit it. How the fuck am I getting, like, I don't know if you guys know how TikTok works, but once it's up, you cannot edit something. This YouTube I can, but I'm saying I couldn't edit it, and that was kind of one of the problems where people were like, blah, 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 blah. I feel like people all say things. It was like, I could recon it, and I didn't do videos trying to recon some of it, but you can't really fight for yourself too much on TikTok because then you would have to video reply to every fucking video and that would get tired. That would be exhausting. And I do not want to fucking do that because shit. You know, like, ah, uh, yeah. This one's more of like, I definitely would say this is a pretty video. I don't know if you guys like this. I don't know if you want more of these discussions. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. Should I just end it here? Um, there are also other comments. I literally stopped looking at the comments for this video because it was getting to a point where my mental health was literally not okay. It just was not okay. It did not make me feel good and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. And that's fine, honestly. If you don't, like I, as someone who's done social media for years, I know I'm a very small creator, but I've been doing it for like 11 years. Something I learned is if people are just being mean to you, you can't stop people from like commenting and being a fucking, asshole to you but you can change you can change one thing you cannot look at it you can ignore it some of my like you know some of my biggest videos have a lot of hate on it and that's just how it is so i have a japanese youtube channel and i also did a video about discrimination on that channel and that one has so much hate so if you guys want to know like and, and like i know that race and things like that will cause hate like anger and i don't understand why when i'm just trying to say this is my experience i'm not saying that everyone's racist i'm not saying that everything's bad but also this is youtube and or tiktok or social media and we tend to talk more about the negative things that we've experienced when doing videos like this when sit down videos where it's like all oh, the bad things that people never talk about those videos do absolutely fucking well and so that's why people continue to do them and so if you were wondering oh why is it that people always want to talk about the negative it's because they do well um they do well because people will literally comment and get mad and that's why i do absolutely well it's like actually it's like reverse psychology it's really fucking weird um yeah but yeah i do plan to do more of these talking about japan japanese culture things like that like i said so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up a like subscribe i guess because i'm a youtuber mm, yeah i don't know <laughs> anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next video sorry this is a little bit rambly and i'm gonna have to come back in while i'm editing but i hope you guys enjoy it anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next one